holy crap, an AMD system that can rival some of those overkill Intel systems I've been seeing on our build a PC all the time. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. This is what we use for our store, epicpants.com. There's lots of templates here you can get started with, and you'll get a free domain if you sign up for a year. Speaking of domains, all you have to do is come here and you can grab your domain and get your website set up. You've got Git access, so you can control virtually everything. We use it for the commerce tools, but maybe you need it for a blog or you just want to have an artistic portfolio. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and enter offer code CRIT to get 10% off your first purchase. All right, so this Master Case 5 here from Cooler Master. Josh, what have you done? Built a monster. $3,100 of ridiculosity inside this. It's, okay, I said it's unnecessary, right? But, you know, for gaming, you can spend half this and get about the same FPS but who would want to go all out like this with the full on 1800X and everything else? Somebody who would want to go all out on a system like this would be looking to do everything in one computer. You want to do gaming, you want to do content production, you want to do 3D rendering, maybe you want to do it all at once. With some VMs. With VMs running in the background. Who knows, maybe you're that one guy who needs your one computer to do it all. So let's go through the specs on the Ultimate AMD system right here. A Master Case 5, we mentioned that. Uh, Amazing case to build in. Like, Amazing. Uh, one of my favorite cases to build in. Incredibly easy. Incredibly modular as well. Uh, next up, the Heart Ryzen 7 1800X. This chip obviously isn't the best value offer, but again, we're going all out here. This is complete top of the line. What's the most expensive thing you can buy right now and still get the awesome performance? 1800X, right at the top at 450 bucks right now. You could probably you know, grab a 1700 for way less than this and only sacrifice maybe 1% in performance, oh, yeah. maybe 2%, who knows? And, but it's gonna be a minuscule number. And they overclock the same, so. Usually. Well, if you're lucky. Yeah. Next up, we've used this board a few times. The MSI X Power, uh, it's the X370. X Power Gaming, Gaming Titanium. Titanium. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's a hard one to get out. It's got a way too many names to it. We, I think we need some more names for that one, but anyway, this one's pretty loaded. This board is really awesome. Um, people kind of give it a little bit of flack for its VRM, but it overclocks really well, runs really well, has lots of awesome features, U.2, M.2, uh, SATA M.2, and PCI Express M.2, and it's just incredibly fun to build with. Uh, it is expensive, but it's good. There may be one or two out there that have achieved higher clock rates, but we had really good success with this one, so. Yep. Sure. All right, moving right along. Next thing in there is this ginormous GTX 1080. Oh, the 1080 Ti Strix. This thing is awesome. We've already done a review on this thing, and it is more efficient, it's quieter, and it's just overall better for most performance metrics other than overclocking than the Founders Edition. It is 780 bucks, but it's totally worth it. You think so? Totally worth it. I think if it's you totally want, worth it if you're going top dollar. If you want 5K gaming, maybe. 5K. <laughs> well, 8K monitors just came out. Dell's already provided that for us. Maybe maybe that's what you want it for. Uh, next up, this ginormous 1200 watt uh, power supply from Corsair. Yeah, this was ridiculous. Okay, we obviously everybody knows you don't need a 1200 watt power supply for any system these days. But again, going high end, going top dollar, you want to get the best thing on the market. Well, I mean, there are some higher end power supplies, but this is pretty much like the value to performance to every dollar amount you need to, it's just like awesomeness condensed into a giant box of power. Here's what I think about this. It's platinum, so you know, it's, it's gonna have very low ripple. Uh, 12 volt rail is gonna be nice and strong on this one. Uh, the thing that I like the most about a power supply like this is it's only gonna be running at like, you know, 40, 50% load with this system. That's yeah. probably around 40%, which means that it's gonna be running at like 99% efficiency. When you're in that sort of middle spot, you're at really, really insane efficiency levels, so. And it's gonna cool. be really hard to max out the power supply with even other graphics cards and more hard drives. Speaking of hard drives. We've got a few hard drives in there, so the heart of the system is gonna be the uh, Samsung uh, NVMe, was it the 960 you got in there? Yep, 960 Pro, 240 gig. We didn't go over the 512 gig because we went for two of Toshiba's OCZ VX500 512 gigs in RAID. These are Fizen, right? 
They are, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't played with these yet. You were playing with these, so. Two of these in Raid is gonna give you extreme speed, and that's what you were gonna want if you wanna do like um, 4K video editing and stuff like that, and you don't want any stuttering. The CPU is gonna help with that, but a lot of people, they start dragging stuff around like, eh, my 4K videos are still slow even with my 50 core CPU. The problem is your hard drive is not fast enough to keep up with that 4K video. So one SSD is good. If you're doing like uncompressed raw, you need a few in Raid, so there yep. you go. And if you were to go, if you were a true content producer, we'd probably recommend a hard drive at this point, but we kind of figured the one terabyte of SSD space is pretty good for most people. Oh, you need a backup hard drive, of course, but just throw it on a NAS like I do. I, I would use this system in a NAS in the corner. Oh yeah. All right, moving right along. Oh, we've got this alchemy kit from, uh, just, just, just for aesthetics, oh, yeah. guys. If you care about that, it's very important. They're very nice cables, very well sleeved, very easy to get in around with. They're very easy to sort of, because they come a little bunched up in the boxes, but you straighten them out pretty quickly and they fit right right on. So this is not a system you're gonna need to put your sunglasses on for and be like, whoa, because of all the RGB. It's got a more professional look and the Alchemy helps out with that. Uh, next up, the Ooh, NZFT Kraken. This is so pretty. God, it's nice. This is an amazing cooler. One of the only coolers we have that was able to really sort of kick in and, and beat some custom water cooling solutions in performance. So it looks really cool, it runs really cool. Could it be the coolest? It is the coolest. We're gonna list this last, but there's, okay. the, uh, there's the memory. Yeah, Corsair uh, Dominator Platinum 32 gig, so two 16 gig sticks, because we like to be able to have some expandability to 64 if needed. We figure if you're a content producer doing like HD video or like 3D renders, you want lots of RAM. So yeah. 32 was... gigs, 3200 megahertz, Yes, this board runs 3,200 megahertz without really any problems. It's fast, it's plentiful, it's awesome. So that's pretty much it. The only thing that I would say would make this better would be maybe more hard drives and more graphics cards, just more, 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 but I think this is sensible insanity. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we could have gotten $10,000 with this thing and just stacked it to the nines, but realistically, three grand is way more than most people are gonna spend, and you can basically fill in this performance space for like half of this money. And before a lot of you hypocrites out there start yelling and screaming about how this is unnecessary, I want you to look at your own Intel build sitting in the floor that may or may not be unnecessary. That's $7,000 more and gets 2% extra performance than the one that's $7,000 cheaper. We're talking to all you X99 owners. Those things are necessary, I've got one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Damn it, you're ruining the narrative. Get a t-shirt or else, all right? Let's all call the police and they'll show up at your house and beat you for not having a t-shirt. We live in that kind of world. Uh, thanks very much, guys. We'll see you guys on the forum. If you have any questions, put them over there. Cheers, then.